Today is Wednesday. Let us contemplate on the joyful mysteries. What are the joyful mysteries? These are the happy moments in the life of Jesus and Mary. Not all happy people are joyful, but all joyful people are happy. What do I mean by this? You may be happy, but you are not joyful. Because the true joy, the true happiness must be full. It must be perfect. And it will never be full unless it is shared to others. Just like what Jesus did in the joyful mysteries, the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel shared the happiness of the good news to Mary that she was chosen to be the mother of the Savior. On the second joyful mystery, Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth to celebrate the new life in her womb and to share the happiness of Elizabeth celebrating her being a mother to a son that just was waiting for for so many years and that is John the Baptist. On the third joyful mystery, that happiness, that joy was shared by God by giving His only Son Jesus when He was born in Bethlehem. In the fourth joyful mysteries, Jesus was presented to the temple and Samuel was able to see the salvation and he told himself I am ready to die because he was happy full of joy and finally the fifth joyful mystery is when Jesus was lost and found in the temple because he was able to share his knowledge about God to the people in the temple and that made his joy complete. So my dear friends, being joyful is more than happy because you are sharing your life and you are celebrating it with others. So not all happy are joyful, but I believe that all joyful is happy because the joy that is with them is shared and that make them full of joy and complete. More of this and my reflections, acronym and prayer tomorrow as I have my live streaming about my holy rosary acronym in the occasion of the celebration of the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. I hope to see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock onwards. Join me in my acronym lady YouTube channel. God bless us all.